Hi, and welcome to the fourth episode of the Weekend Warriors Workshop. I'm Chris, I'm your adventure guide in this series of videos, and today we're going to keep working with our saw table, only this time we're going to make it even more versatile by turning it into a not only a table saw table, but a router table and a jigsaw table. Now to do that, we're going to cut a hole in the table and we're going to create adapter plates that will hold each of the tools that will quickly change out. So it'll be all a real quick change, make it real easy for using. Uh, and by the way, this episode is dedicated to my buddy Mark Winans down in Killing, Texas, who uh, got hold of me on Facebook and said, Chris, I got a table saw, but I don't have a router table, so are you going to do anything with routers? Well, this is for you, Mark. and. Here's our first router. As a matter of fact, this is the first router I bought in Denver back in 1983. Still one of my favorite ones. So we'll be back after I get the garage all set up. Hang on. So we're back to the saw table. And what we have here is the makings for a straight line cutting jig for my router. Now what it actually is, is a piece of scrap laminate flooring from installing floors in the house. And what I've done is I've put another small edge scrap right on it. You can see how it goes right there. Uh, this is going to act as a straight edge for the router and all I'm going to do is run the router down the line it's going to cut a new straight edge onto it and with that I'll be able to set the edge up against any line I draw on the table run the router across it and it's going to cut right along the edge of the of the jig again so I know I'm getting a straight cut in the right place every time so we're just going to go ahead and cut that uh, now you notice I have my hearing protection, I have my eye protection. Don't forget those items. Of course, I want to set this up so uh, when I'm cutting my blade doesn't come in contact with my table because that would be bad. I've got it mounted now and what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the router from left to right because the rotation will pull the router into the fence, the little stubble piece here, keeping it tight against the fence. It won't be trying to wander off the cut and make it all wobbly. Now our jig is complete. Perfect straight line jig. I'll be able to line this up on any line and my router is going to cut right along that edge every time. So it's going to make it real handy when I got to cut a square out in here. Next thing we're going to cut is our plexiglass. Uh, it's about uh, 5 sixteenths of an inch in, in thickness. So I'm going to be able to use a plywood blade on my table saw table. If I go slow enough it's not going to heat it up too much and it won't stick back together. That's what we're looking for. Uh, so hang on, I'll reset and we'll get back to that. Here we are. We've reset the table saw. I've inserted a, a plywood blade, a very thin plywood blade. It's got a very fine uh, tooth on it. I've put my uh, rip fence about 12 inches from the inside teeth of my, my blade, so I'm going to get a 12 inch cut off of it. Here's my piece of plexiglass. Now, you notice I'm set up to the left. It's going to be a left-hand cut because I get the most most distance on the left-hand side. Uh, so I'm going to start the saw up. We're going to run this slowly across. Like I said, slowly, because if we go too fast, we're going to heat up the plexiglass, and it's basically going to weld itself right back together again, and we want to avoid that. So I will unplug my router, make sure my outlet is off, plug my saw in, on with the protection, especially since I'm cutting glass, I definitely want to have this stuff on. And here we go. Oh, now that's really pretty. Looks like it's a nice straight cut. It is a nice straight cut. 
So now I've got to reset my fence for 9 inches because I'm making these on this table 12 by 9. So I'll do that now and we'll come back and we'll make the cut. And as they say in my country, measure twice and cut once. And here we go again. Okay, now I have two identical pieces, 12 by 9. I can now drop my saw out of here. Uh, I'm going to lay out the square that I'm going to cut. It's going to be 12 by 9. And we'll cut the hole and we'll make our recesses. And then we'll be back. Well, actually, we'll be back long before that. So hang on because I got a whiny little three year old in my garage. Okay, I've removed my saw from underneath the table. Uh, I've laid out some lines. Now, my, my panels here, back here, are 9 by 12 inches. Uh, but I don't want to cut the hole the same size as the panel because I want the panel to be able to rest in a slot. So I've reduced the size of the hole I'm going to cut by 1 inch. So I've got 11 by 8, pardon me, 11 by 8. So now I'm just going to use my router with the spiral cutting bit to cut this out. So I've got my straight line jig that I will clamp in place right here, right along the edge line that I cut out, or that I laid out. So I'm donning my hearing and my eye protection, and I'll plug up my router and we'll make this one cut. And then it's getting late, so I'm going to make one cut, and I'm going to go in for the night. And we'll see you tomorrow after we're done. So hang on. There we go. Cut number one's done. Only three more to go. Here I am about to make my last cut. And as you can tell, if I make this cut, this thing's going to fall off. Now, there's a good chance I'll have some chip out or tear out along this edge if I let that happen. So what I'm going to do here real quick is I'm taking a piece of scrap stock. I'm going to lay it across. Just duct tape it down. Yes, duct tape. Man's best friend. And now as I cut through, it's not going to be able to drop off from this end. It'll swivel down from this end. It'll be out of my way. I'll have finished the cut. Everything should be clean. So let's watch this happen. Take my seeing glasses off. Put my cutting glasses back on. And here we go. Hey, how about that? Looks like I know what I'm doing. Okay, I'm done for the night. I'll see you in the morning.